plays out. Absolutely. A lot of hidden damage on both sides. That smite on the Hecarim is especially going to be interesting for contesting those objectives. Now, guys, we're done with that pregame banter. Why don't you tell us what you think at LOL Esports is the place. Tweet H2K win or ROC win with the hashtags to see who you think is going to take this one as we load up onto the Rift. I really hope H2K have a backup plan right now because their bot lane is not going Where to Where is Wii U going? He's going up top. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if he can bully out Steve. He hits level four, dives in, ignites immediately, taking tower shots as he playful tricksters into Steve, predicts it. Odawande tanking tower damage, and that's going to be first blood to Ryu. This was such a sick play, so sick that Odawande wasn't even ready for it. Into Megan R4, but Yankos is there. He can't really do much. This is ugly, though. If your jungler level four has to walk into the lane to secure a push out, it means you're in a bit of trouble, though. Oh, Odawande going aggressive. Yeah. Yep, in comes Lulex, gets the knockup, gets the kill. Odawamne gets himself another assist just as Meganar expires. Mm -hmm. And you can see that Rocket are definitely hoping for this game to go on as long as possible. The tier app has been sitting on the Cassiopeia for a while, but the Abyssal Scepter completed as that first item. What do you what do you think of that particular build? I think it's all right if you're playing as a major assassin, but Steve's getting caught again. Yes, he is. He could go 0-3 as he goes in with the Onslaught or goes out with the Onslaught. It won't be far enough as Oda Wamne picks him up. And move all the Wamne, move that strong piece to another side of the map. We might see some TPs coming in. Yeah, we might see some Rek'Sai ultimates as well, because Sing knows he has some backup, and there is an Oda Wamne coming in. Fate's call from Yarn, and they're looking for an extended engage. He throws Kasing in. Glitterlance goes, but Yankos is the target as they put the wild growth on him. Will it be enough? No! The spears get ripped out of him, and here comes Oda Wamne. Yarnin picks up Vander. Steve, talk about a dead horse. 0-4 oh, on the scoreboard, and H2K pick themselves up 3 uh, for Rocket might recognize this and try and take out Odawama himself, but then they'll lose the bottom tower to a dive anyways. Really tough position for Rocket to be in if H2K, H2K has the proper vision to recognize this play. Yep. Oh, and there goes the Casio ult. Steve goes in, and Odawamne just out of Meganar form is going to go down. Nuke Duck will pick up his first kill of the game at this yeah. stage of the game. This is basically mistakes from the past coming to bite you in the future, and here goes the Yard Fates call onto Yep, he gets knocked up onto Nuke Duck. They combo it, and they throw the chum in the waters, and that is one dead snake. Ryu pops his on his hourglass as Yankos goes in, goes out. Is he big enough? No, not again. Yeah, especially if you if you lack wave clear, you really need to make these picks happen, and H2K is so good. No hesitation, just throwing Kassing in there, relying on him, knocking people up, and then comboing it with the bind into another knockup. You know, so much damage coming out. Good bind from Kassing. Yeah, now they found Steve. Tormented Soil is on Ryu. Playfuls and Tricksters, and he gets a kill on a spree now as the minions are still tanking the tower. Yarn and Hop skipping and jumping. He wants H2K to face off 4v4 against Rocket, potentially lose the fight with a good Nuketox ult flash. But even then, you know, he's just getting wheeled down because he has to stay in range to cancel the Terraport. And uh, Rocket's trying to gank Odawame here. Yep, up, oh, flash for a flash right there. Explosive cast. Odawame is dangerously close to Meganar, yeah. though. And Steve might have overstepped Don't his get him bounds. Angry. Now you see Yankos bailing out a barrel to help Steve. But it's all they can do to stay alive in a 1v2. Ryu diving onto Wolite. Does he have the damage? He does. Because Sing is there. He's got his ultimate on and a pair of exhaust. One for Ryu, one for Vander. H2K turns me down. They're going for the dive. There's the petrified fine gaze, but it only slows down H2K for just a moment. Putting up vision deep red jungle, so they have the teleport threat to punish Rocket if they check. Oh, but Ryu's going in. Yeah, he's got Chum the Waters onto Woolite, and he's going to get eight. Just like that, Ryu's going to pick that one up, and he dodges out. So does Zanyas, too. From the Petrifying Gaze. Yeah, he'll be able to play for Trickster once again. Nuketuck just cannot catch him. True, Crepo. H2K start this Baron off. Team Rocket inbound trying to stop this from happening, but Yankos wanders right into a chum the waters and he throws a barrel out trying to escape now. Teleport from Oda Wamne gets stunned up. Lulex takes a huge shot of Kohling, but Woolite and Nuke Duck are next on the table. Oda Wamne, Meganar just at the right time. It's a double kill for Yarnin. Steve now collapsed on by the rest of H2K. That's a triple kill for the Callista. They can take this Baron for free. The question is, do they still want it? Oh, yes. Only one tower outside of the base remaining, but let's see if Yankos Rocket can find thing. something. He's going to be slowed down as he tries to tunnel, forced to flash away. Yarnin now in there for the defense, but Rocket, they've got a momentary advantage. In comes Steve, and Nuke Duck will pick up a kill. Yarnin is next on the plate, and that's going to be Steve picking up his first. Rocket have found a tiny bit of breathing room. But yeah, look at how confident H2K are. Two members down. They still think they can make a play. Ryu flashes, but Vander follows suit on this one. Odawamne now chasing on look Steve as he hot skips nice and jumps over. Woolite. Oh, Woolite is down as Ryu chases through him. And Odawamne finds Steve. H2K in a member disadvantage are able to still come up. Okay. 
Yeah, no problems for them whatsoever. Now forget the split push because H2K are right on the inhibitor turrets. No need now with Woolite and Steve down. Chum the Waters dodged out, but it doesn't even matter. They just used it to zone as this inhibitor is not long for the rift. Oduwamne jumping forward. Nuke Duck is found. He's not going to get anything with his petrifying gaze and a cherry on top for H2K as they push Team Rocket little, even farther too back. Too by Oduwamne there, but he delays their back timing so much that H2K uh, can maybe get a tower on the bot lane. Woolite's 1v1 him. Is 1v1 him, but Oduwamne outplays him. How about that? A thorn mail will do that for you. On top of the random wins, Omen pretty much negated a lot of Woolite's damage. Inhibitor. Steve is uh, just able to get away from that dark finding, but Tower won't be so lucky. It's going to take the rest of its HP in damage. Chum the Waters the dodged out, here. but they are going to go in for the final assault. Steve dodges in, but I don't think it's going to help the rest of his team. Woolite takes down Lulex. In comes Ryu, just dodging around, but he finally will fall down. That's a double kill over to Woolite before he himself melts. Vander chased all the way back to his fountain as H2K completely clean house, and they will secure the ace. Team Rocket blasting off again as H2K are polishing off the Nexus turrets. They will end this game 33 minutes in. The Nexus is bare and a fantastic match for H2K as they just take their time around it, dancing about to finish this one off in serious style. Got a challenge for giving an LTS bad a score a little bit, but yeah, H2K very convincing. What a way to start off the split.